Hello, my Leos. This is your pick a deck reading to see how your person uh, feels about you. And um, so you guys go ahead. This is going to be deck one, deck two, and deck three. Pick a deck. Pick two decks. Pick three. It's on you. Um, as long as you guys can get a message out of it that resonates with you, it's quite all right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. We'll go ahead and get started with deck one. All right. Let's see, how does Leo's person feel about them? How does Leo's person feel about them? How does Leo's person feel about them? Hmm. I think that uh, your person is really trying to move on. Um, from this, I think they also feel like, you know, you guys have moved on, um, that you're moving towards things that you feel like is, you know, going to bring you success, even leaving them. They feel like you feel like that will, that was what was best for you. Okay. Cancer energy there. They feel like you left them behind to go towards things that, um, that you felt like would fulfill you. Like, you know, you didn't really think about them when you left is what I'm getting here. They feel like that's your decision. Um, but they feel like, you know, you're going to be judged for it is what I'm getting here. Um, maybe they feel like you guys are going to regret something here. Hmm. Maybe they think you guys want to come back even they're also judging you in the fact that you left saying that maybe you can't come back if some of you guys left scorpio energy here maybe you guys had a lot of conflict um I, i'm thinking more along the lines that they feel like you guys made a decision to leave But now that you may, you may be conflicted over it. Maybe some of you have made contact with your person here. But they're thinking that, you know, you guys, you guys also bring conflict for some reason. Um, maybe, you know, your relationship was one that was full of um, arguments. Then we have the Empress here. Some of them feel like you went back to maybe the mother of your children. Some of you moved back home with your mother. Hmm. And you know they're they're trying to get their um, they're trying to get their their ish together is what I'm feeling here. Um, they're they're looking for growth they're looking for growth um i feel like uh this person is probably hearing a call to um go towards something else maybe take care of their kids even um take care of other people start new businesses there there's growth and abundance around them right now this person hmm I feel like they still love you. They feel like it's over though. Um, but I, I think they still, they still think about the connection. They also feel like, again, that you guys are probably struggling with, um, with reaching out to them. Some of them feel that you guys want to reach out. But I feel like your relationship was one where there was like, you know, a lot of turmoil, um, maybe a lot of arguments, disagreements, you know. And I feel that there is like this connection between the two of you that I think you both feel. But they are definitely trying to move on and do new things, um, maybe concentrate on some other things here with this empress 
building themselves up, taking care of the people that's around them, starting new endeavors here. Um, some of them um, are dating, have started to try to date even, or somebody um, feels that way about them here. Mm -hmm. Some of them are definitely starting new businesses that they feel passionate about. Um, this person, I feel like, there's either a new job, um, a new business. There's something that they are winning with financially here. Okay. I feel like, you know, there's somebody else in their energy that uh, cares for them, that has offered them something. I don't really see them taking that though. I don't see the Empress paying attention to that. I see the Empress focusing on herself and her family, like her familial, um, her relatives, like her children, her mother, her father, or his mother, father, you know. Um, it could go vice versa, guys. But somebody's, um, somebody's hearing a call here to go towards something that they feel like is going to bring them abundance. Um, they're, they're working on building a le legacy here. Okay. But there is definitely um, a love between the two of you. And I feel like somebody here wants to start over, my Leos, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody wants to start over and, um, and really say that and mean it. Like, really like something very solid here. Okay? So that's deck one. Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Aries, maybe. Um... Scorpio energy. Okay. So that's deck one. Let's move on to deck two. Next the question. How does Leo's person feel about them? How does Leo's person feel about them? How do they feel? How do they feel about my Leo's? How do they feel? Definitely, definitely love you. Definitely. Okay. Um, I think that you guys, when you were together, they felt like you guys shared a lot of good times together. Um, they really felt like you guys were going to be together forever is what I'm getting here. I feel like you guys were the perfect couple in their eyes and probably yours too. But now I think they kind of like taking their hand off the wheel like it's not going to happen. They're not expecting for it to happen. Um, so... That's just that. Um, Pisces energy there. But of course they still think about it though. They just don't feel like it's going to happen. Um, yeah. And they're bothered. This person's bothered. They're worrying. They're worrying. I'm feeling like um, they feel like there's nothing that they can do with the hanged man and the eight of swords like you know there's nothing that they could possibly do to get this ten of cups back gemini energy hmm. i think they feel like you're blocking them too and that you don't want them back i think maybe you guys are they feel like you have come up, whatever that means for you guys. They feel like you've come up. They feel like you're stubborn. <laughs> um, that you may have blocked them even. But they're also getting their confidence up, this person. They're making, I feel like this person making is making, I'm getting money moves. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm, I'm feeling like this person is like, yeah, they're making money moves. They're feeling confident. They, they are feeling, um, as far as their like financial life, you know, they are feeling like a boss. Um, maybe some of them are, you know. And I feel like they still think about this connection a lot. 
and they don't really know what to do about it. They don't really know what to do about it here. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like they're thinking about everything that, um, that happened, um, what, what they put into the connection even, what they invested. And some of them are actually investing money here because again, you know, I heard money moves here. And then we have the seven of pentacles here, investing, investing in like, you know, planting seeds and waiting to see what your profit is going to be. Um, still hung up on this connection for sure though, even while they're making money moves. I think this person feels like too that you guys are waiting on them to make a move. Taurus energy. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person like is very stubborn. Like they want to start over. They want to be with you. They put a lot of time into the connection. They feel like both of you, you know, contributed a lot to the connection. And they are like, they're waiting, I feel like, on you guys to make the first move. All right, guys. So that is deck two Pisces, Taurus, Leo. Any other uh, fire sign there, okay? So let's see what's going on with deck three. How do they feel about my Leos? How do they feel about my Leos? How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? Leo. Leo. Nine of Wands. I think they feel like you're kind of trapped. They feel like you're trapped here, like you, like you're bound, like you don't really know how to um, go forward. I'm getting that you guys, they feel like you guys won't change, that you're not willing to give this another chance, that you're not willing to continue. That you're fighting change. You know, it's over with. But they feel like you guys are still the same person. Still the same person here. Hmm. Stubborn. Feel like you're very stubborn. Arrogant. That you just like to have a good time. That you really are not grounded. Like you're really not... You know, like you're free willy. You know. Not wanting anyone in particular. Just wanting to go out and drink and have a good time. Unemotional. Arrogant. Hurtful with your words. Wow. Gemini energy there. And then we have a page of cups. Yeah. Feeling like you, like, they offered their love to you before and um, <laughs> you ignored them. That you ignored them. But they're, 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 they still have love to offer you. But it's not like it used to be is what I'm getting. It's not like it used to be. They feel like you are emotionally unavailable for them. Um, and they feel that you were before as well. That you're still the same person. Hmm. I think this person's kind of angry with you. Is what I'm getting here. They feel like it's over. And now they're not really wanting to offer you any emotion. If they were overly emotional before. And like, you know, really loving towards you. I feel like this person, they've changed. This person's changed. If you haven't changed, they've changed, okay? Then we have the high priestess. 
they've changed. There's something that they feel like they know about you that you probably were hiding before. This is what they're feeling. Um, feel like you were very secretive. That maybe you had someone else on the side. Scorpio energy here, Pisces energy. Yeah. I feel like this person is blocking you too for some reason. Either they're blocking you or you're blocking them or both of you are blocking each other. Um, but right now, I feel like neither one of you has any emotion to offer the other one. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like um, this person has changed. I feel like they are not um, they are not willing to overextend anymore if they were before. Because I feel like they think they think that they they gave way too much before okay so that's what I have for deck three guys let's see I think I called out the signs already um, Sagittarius Scorpio energy Pisces Gemini Libra Aquarius okay so that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon